I reckon this engine here m might have ran, you know, because it's in perfect nick, because you can... There's very little movement in the top of the piston there, look. That's hardly moving at all, that. Another thing I've noticed is you've got one, two, three, four. You can just see the numbers there. Um, but there's also letters on these. You've got D, B, C, and that one's also marked B. So I don't know what they've been doing in here. And also the last test, I just want to run my fingernail. Nah, that's perfect, that. I won't even bother stripping it down anymore, to be honest with you. Are you giving a commentary? Well, I can do in a minute. I'll, uh... Hasn't been run for 18 years. No, it's not, uh, not run for 18 years. Fully reconditioned. Uh, bored out, plus 40. Uh, new Weber carburetor. Do the honours, Dave. Do the honors. Down my little bit. Oh. Ready? Yep. Ooh. It's going to backfire a bit because it's not timed up. Again? Yeah, yeah. Last night we uh, tried to start the Land Rover here and it wouldn't go and we think the problem was the the carburetor had um, the float had jammed open so it wasn't restrict it wasn't shutting off and restricting the flow of fuel it was just every time the, the lift pump was working it went <laughs> and sent it all through and that's why it was flowing out everywhere. Um, I'm going to try it now. Um, I'll have to put the mole grip on the carburetor to hold the choke open because I'm on my own and there is no choke cable attached. So that's all that is for. Let's give it a try and see what happens. It's trying to bark, but it's not picking up. So after last night we had one or two problems, we had a massive backfire 
and a carburetor that was over fueling so the um, the float chamber which is here works very similar to a toilet in the um, in the valve how it works that when the float comes up it switches the valve off and restricts the petrol from coming in um, that wasn't working so the fuel was going directly straight down and whenever I opened the butterfly valve it was letting it go like like you flush a toilet um, secondly I just want to talk about the fuel system briefly we've got the tank here we've got a pre-filter which this never originally had um, and then you've got the sediment bowl which is attached to the fuel lift pump which is down there uh, sediment is um, filtered through and then rests in the bottom of the bowl um, that filter there will be easier to change given its position than it is to clean the sediment bowl out so theoretically the, the sediment bowl won't need to be cleaned as much although it's still recommended that you do it um, we've got copper piping all the way through just with rubber joints where, the, where things meet up to um, so the other thing we had to do just, um, just to get it to run was I've just had to faff around with the ignition timing just to just to get it just to find that sweet spot just for now um, and then um, you know it will need a final tune up when we've uh, you know when we've when we've got it running a bit more correctly but for now this is it's probably around for about five minutes at this stage um, this isn't the first start but um, you know it's uh, it is running pretty much like that this will be the first drive of the Land Rover in 18 years uh, it was parked up in 2003 by its owner and uh, here we are today it is cold so I'll have to give it a bit of choke so I've got it outside now So the engine has been fully rebuilt and it um, it is uh, been bored out plus 40 and it has a lead free head on it for unleaded fuel and um, it seems to be running quite nice so let's see how it handles on the road Obviously we're not going on the main road, we're just going on a, on a private track. But that will give us the opportunity to, ch to, take, to check the gears, which is what we want to do. We're on the road now.
So the um, seems to run all right. Went through the gears nicely. Um, I don't know how much you got of that. It needs the brakes looking at. Um, but the um, the speedo seems to be correct. I think it's not the original speedo, but it is the correct speedo for the tyres that's currently fitted. So um, it might just well be correct that. Um, going off my own experiences um yes it seems to uh seems to sit nice on the on the ground there i don't know uh ah, zoom out look